the flooding that has occurred in the Midwest is just beyond anything I think I have ever seen. You know, they have been underwater for quite some time. And the Mississippi River is still just flooding out several states in the process. And, you know, it's been a very treacherous kind of year when you really think about it. Starting way back in January, you had the polar vortex and temperatures went down to minus 55 and minus 33 and all these crazy temperatures, you know, and even where I am, it went down to minus nine. I'm like, now I didn't think I would ever see nothing like that, but it was unbelievably cold and frozen and they were getting tons of snow on top of that in the Midwest. And in between, they got hit with these heavy downpours of rain that eventually caused flooding. And they had a few more really bad snowstorms in between all of the rain. So it led to all the flooding that has happened there. And it just seems like this area can't bounce back. They just can't seem to bounce back from all of this flooding. But NPR has this story out May 8th, 2019, when one in 100 year floods happen often. What should you call them? Biblical proportion. That's exactly what it is. We're going to go ahead and listen to the audio on here. Rain is falling again on parts of the Mississippi River. That means even more flooding for communities in the Midwest that have been dealing with high water for more than a month. Even though flooding along the river is increasingly frequent and severe, many places are not prepared to handle the water. NPR's Rebecca Hersher reports one reason may be the words officials use when they talk about flood risk. If you live in a flood-prone area, as tens of millions of Americans do, you've heard the words I'm talking about. We are at a thousand-year level. Called five years uh, flood. Is this a good phrase, 100-year flood? I think it's highly confusing to people. It's based on probabilities. Alice Hill studies disaster resilience at the Hoover Institution, and she was a climate advisor in the Obama administration. Many people assume that if their area has experienced the one in 100 year flood, that means that for the next 99 years, they need not worry about flooding. So- And that's not the case? That's not the case. So here's what a 100 year flood does mean. It means there's a 1% chance it will happen each year. If it happens this year, there's still a 1% chance it will happen next year. As with the flip of a coin, if you flip heads twice in a row, that doesn't mean that you're going to get tails the next time. So you could have three very significant floods right in a row. That kind of thing has happened a lot recently. For example, North Carolina got hit by two really wet hurricanes in a row, and that prompted then-Governor Roy Cooper to say this. When you have two 500-year floods within two years of each other, it's pretty clear it's not a 500-year flood. But that's not it. Both floods had a low probability of happening, but sometimes low probability things do happen. And Hill says the widespread confusion about basic flood probability is a big problem. We are um, leading people to be unprepared. It's not surprising that the one in 100 year language isn't helping people prepare for flooding. It was never meant to. The 100 year flood term was adopted by Congress back in the 1970s to describe who would be required to buy flood insurance. And researchers say there are better ways to communicate flood risk. Instead of talking about how likely a given flood is to happen each year, talk about how likely that flood is to happen over many years. For example, if there's a 1% chance of a flood happening each year, that means there's a 26% chance it will happen over the course of a 30-year mortgage. And if you live your whole life in a flood zone, you'll be more likely than not to experience a 100-year flood. Explaining flood probability that way helps people understand their risk over time. Robert Holmes is the National Flood Hazard Coordinator for the U.S. Geological Survey. 
He says his team is trying to move away from the one in 100 year language in their public documents, in part because the misunderstandings undercut the public's trust in flood science. The educated layperson or elected officials, they think, well, you scientists and engineers can't get it straight because we had a 100 year flood two years ago. Why are we having another one? You guys must have your numbers wrong or you're doing something wrong. And that's that's not the case. I mean, it makes people think, well, we just don't know what we're doing. Holmes says the stakes are high when it comes to flood risk. In many parts of the country, flooding is getting more frequent and severe. Climate change is part of the problem. Warmer air can hold more moisture, which falls as more extreme rain. And in many places, development is also creating more runoff, all of which puts more people in harm's way, many of whom don't know they're at risk. You know, if you build in the wrong spot or you buy a house that, uh, you know, you did, you weren't unaware that you had a risk, you know, you could lose your life savings or worst case, you lose a member of your family or your own life. Rebecca Hersher, NPR News. OK, y'all, you heard that. But you know what? I don't ride a lot on their science because it is very flawed. but. It's undeniable that it has really been a bad year for the Midwest. And, you know, there's a lot of farming in that area. And that's, forget it, that's a done deal. They're not going to be able to do anything with farming for 2019. And not to mention all the livestock they lost in that area. So it's been bad. It's been bad. And what's even worse is, these folks can't even bounce back. This is, <laughs> they can't even bounce back. It's almost like one, when one disaster hits, here comes another and another and another. And I was looking at some of the recent tornadoes and everything. Yeah, I mean, it's no joke. The weather has been no joke whatsoever. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about all of these floods happening and happening really in the same area over and over. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.